Okay, several people on the forum have asked, how do you determine the tempo of a loop that doesn't have a beats per minute stamp in it? I actually don't have one of those at hand, so I'm going to grab one that you have as well, so you could follow along with me here. Studio One, Volume One, Loops, Rock Drums, 95 beats per minute. Drag that in there to this to a song, and here you see it on the inspector. It shows it's 95.01. And my project is set up to be automatic time stretch. So I'm going to actually turn that off, say don't follow for right now. So there it jumps back to the 95 beats per minute. Uh, there's 95 beats per minute. And I'm going to, because there's no beat at the very end of this thing, I'm going to actually do a little trick here, which is I'm going to double it. So put these two together, and that way it can find an exact end to that, to that beat by measuring it against the next one. Next trick I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a comb or bounce these two together. But before I bounce these two together, I'm going to turn snap off uh, because if you have snap on by default, Studio One will extend that out to the next measure. So I'm going to turn that off, do a Control B, and there's a copy of it, the exact same size it was before. If we look in the pool. There you'll see I'll have a copy of it. So now we have this thing, and when I did that, it said, oh, okay, I'll make that 120 beats per minute because that was my project tempo. No, we want to say it's an unknown. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to use the power of Melodyne just to determine what that thing is. So I'm going to do a Control-M or Edit with Melodyne. And it's going to come up and say the project tempo is 120, which it is. And we believe that the loop is 95 which we know is correct it may have gotten it incorrect it may have gotten it off by half or 2x if you think it's accurate go ahead and just select ok if you don't think it's accurate you can select uh, redetect time and either way once you press ok it will load that time over here into the file tempo thing here so we see uh, close to 95 it says 94.68 beats per minute okay so close that down now we know that tempo I'm going to turn the track back on to time stretch and here you see it has two measures at 90 close to 95 beats per minute as determined by Melodyne and let's just take a listen to it and the loop works that is the easiest way to find the beat per minute of a loop that you don't have the beat per minute stamped on.